Hi, a little while ago, I forgot to do a short announcing the release of the light shapes update for my afterglow lighting tools for Blender. So what I'm showing on the screen above here is a clip from the actual YouTube channel talking about it. So I thought I'd briefly explain what's available. So afterglow is my tool for getting physical, like diegetic lighting in Blender rather than using lamp objects. It allows you to get a lot of creative variety and control through the shader editor. And I like physical lighting because all things are like properly physically represented. Light will emit from the surface area of shaders when where there's emissive data. What I've done is I've added a collection of light shapes. So these can be image planes, which you can drag in and they have interesting patterns. So you can imagine like the glint in a character's eye. What does that look like? It can provide light, it can provide reflection, etc. So there's image planes, but there's also geometries which can surround an object. You can see here in the viewport how I'm kind of moving a few of these light shapes around a sphere. And then I provide some demonstrations of doing modifications to the shader editor, just kind of showing off that creative control. Then we get a bit more sensible with it, showing off like the Suzanne default monkey head object in Blender. And I talk about how you can make things more subtle and how or rather what the difference is between lamp objects and having light shapes providing a bit more of like a realistic variety on reflections. As usual, you can push things in quite creative ways as well. So that is an update for the Afterglow product, like I said, but I've got a whole bunch of videos talking about the principle of physical lighting in Blender. So yeah, I just thought I'd let you know. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.